Well, hello, gang. Well, the weather has not been kind to me. The rain is on again, but we're not gonna let it deter us. Today, we go see one of the most interesting places that we're gonna see on this whole trip, something that I've really been looking forward to, St. Peter's Basilica. I'm having a three course Italian meal, starting with the pasta, that I'm having a basically a pork tenderloin, and then I get a uh, side dish and a dessert. Should be fun. Part two, and the dessert. Now this is, I guess what you would call the new St. Peter's Basilica. It was built in the 1540s, replacing the one from 4 AD. Now, why it's called St. Peter's Basilica is because they say that St. Peter, number one of God's apostle, well, one of his most trusted apostles, is buried right under that altar. And because of that, a lot of the popes want to be buried there as well. So it was partially designed by Bernini, Michelangelo, and about seven other guys. So this is going to be a really impressive thing to see. So what we're going to see today is something that took 120 years in the making to finish. It's the largest church in the world, and some call it the most important church in the Catholic faith. We have made it. Now there's been a church on this site since the time that Constantine ran Rome. Emperor Constantine. Well friends, here it is. We're gonna need a lot of lens changes for this one. I'm sure as you can tell there are statues lining every one of those pillars going all the way around. All right, it's time for us to go inside. They told me since I have a reservation, I get to enter down here. I want to stop in, take a closer look at that, and then take a look at all of those. I'm going to get a lot of footage of the front now because once you get in the line, I get the feeling I'm not going to have much of a chance. If we do this right, we should see the clouds moving behind. Now it's time for us to go get in line. This should be amazing. I mean absolutely amazing. There's a really incredible Michelangelo statue that you guys, oh boy. I've seen replicas of it in various other museums. They even had a replica of it in the, uh, the Vatican Museum, but this one, whew, I can't wait. Well, do you think somebody's ready for an outdoor service? Wow, guys, I can't believe we're here. This is another one of those and I'm just like, holy moly. Ah, 
I put good, good, good. No, such a huge advantage to be done. And I'm really excited to see that tomb of John Paul II. That's what it looks like to stand up here and preach the word. Let's go on in. That's another one. That's what we came to see. Michelangelo, one of his most famous. Here's another angle. Isn't that amazing? Not only an artist, but an architect, a painter, a true Renaissance man, and what better place for a Renaissance man's work than in the most majestic of all Renaissance churches. So take a look at this tomb. Sanctuary of John Paul II. I don't want to go past the barrier that I'm standing at now because if I do, you're not allowed to take pictures. I mean, I'm going to just to pay my respects, but this is as close as you guys are going to get. Wow. All right, those of you who aren't religious and don't want to hear it, put your fingers in your ears and then count to 10. At the count of one, two, three, if you are religious, I don't think I've ever felt a more spiritual or more just comforting place. I don't know, it almost it truly does feel like God's house. And I believe I believe this is getting close to the altar of St. Peter.
I was about to say, I'm kind of surprised they're pretty cool about you letting you take pictures and film and stuff in here. And then two of the separate little side kind of church worship centers, when I went in them, they told me that you couldn't take photos in there. So there's the altar, and beneath there is where St. Peter is buried, one of Jesus' most trusted apostles. And uh, the former one-time Bishop of Rome. Hands down, best church I've ever been in, but no surprise. Okay, check this out, guys. This is the altar of St. Jerome. And here's St. Jerome. And somebody told me something very interesting the other day that um, they said that the belief was that if you truly were holy, that the body, once it was put in state like this, that it wouldn't deteriorate. And it and it really hasn't. So a uh, gentleman was just uh, standing next to me telling me, well, he was listening to me talk to my camera, and he was saying, well, what, you're, what you were talking about was the belief that the more uncorruptible you were, the less your body would decompose. And one of the things he was telling me was that he said, you know, uh, Pope John Paul, has a tomb here, but he said he he didn't really want that. He wanted to be buried underground in the earth, and um, they they did that for a while, and then they they moved him up here once he was sainted. This is Saint Jerome, and what the gentleman was telling me that Saint Jerome was um, very important in changing the course of the Vatican in the late 50s and early 60s. So I'm gonna look around. Apparently you can go underground here to the uh, to the crypts underground. That's where a lot of the popes are buried and where Pope John Paul was buried for a time. Now this is actually called the Altar of St. Peter because of the painting above. And then here's a list of all the popes that are buried here all the way up to 2005 with Pope John Paul II going all the way back to St. Peter in 67, 64, whatever. I don't understand that. The 
orchestra is here practicing. Well, anybody want to go down into the catacombs? Okay, let's go. Now, like I said, this is where a lot of the popes are buried. So Pope John Paul II was originally buried down and before they moved him, this is where he was buried. Holy cow, one of the originals. Wow, freaking neat. That's what that is. Well, what'd you guys think of St. Peter's Basilica? A lot of the parts there, they wouldn't let you film, so. So this is actually the old door of the basilica that they used and the, the Pope would personally open the door, they said, for, for 25 years to come out, to come out here. And you can see they have the stage area all set up. To address the Vatican. Vatican City. Well, gang, we're gonna call it a day here at St. Peter's Basilica. Perfect timing, too. I hope if you are of religious faith that you thoroughly enjoyed this, and I hope that if you're not, you enjoyed this for the art. Thank you very much everyone for watching, and we'll see you all tomorrow here from Rome. Well, this is Vatican City, but we'll be back in Rome, so have a great night. Goodbye.